<laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think I've, I think it's been a while since I missed changing all the information. I have this like order of operations that I do stuff in uh, to get all of the magic ready. Hold on, that's a bit quiet. Abstraction's not too bad. We'll keep them up. How is y'all doing? How is y'all doing? Stream indeed. Existence, welcome. Walrus, welcome. Lurkers, welcome. Loading. Ah, oh, good times, peeps. Good times. Feels good to get some streaming going. Feels good to get some streaming going. We're going to be doing some update four in Satisfactory today. Uh, so aside from my going live message being three days old and all that sort of nonsense, I think we're doing okay. <clears throat> Got my chai in, in gear. Some screaming going? Yeah, let's, let's scream. Is, is my, is my, how's my closed captioner doing today? Oh, jeez. Uh, Augies? Anyway, uh, I, I, I was uh, watching some streamers on the weekend. My weekend. Middle of the week. Yo, Mike! Moink! Uh, watching some streamers, and a couple of them had uh, the same, the exact same closed captioner that I used, and I'm all, is that what I look like I sound like? It is getting all kinds of words wrong. But I've also used Google's proprietary version of closed captioning. It all depends on, say, for example, your accent or laxent. In my case, where I just kind of just slur words together. It's a lazy speak, you know, that kind of thing. How's it going? How's it going? Mike. Ooh, our struggle as artists. So, Walrus, I, I take it your, your knight is in good shape. I, I was so worried that... So I, I, I mailed, I mailed, I, well, I had, I had Amazon mail Walrus, a, 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 a fun, a fun little item, but, but I was worried that it was going to be in shambles or the wrong item or whatever. When you drop ship anything in this world, it's always a bit of a gamble. So I've, I've, I've been worried. Plus it wasn't supposed to arrive for like five days. So, you know, uh, so I, 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 it's always nice when. The stress of, is is it crap? Uh, it, it, you know, manage to, manage to be alleviated, this worse. especially in today's times, right? It's tough maybe to source out the sort of things for replacements or any of that sort of stuff. Didn't expect until Wednesday, yeah. And I had the tracking, and every morning I'd I'd load it up and I'd check. Uh, did it did it show you the charity that I did through Smile, Amazon.com? By the way, uh, so as a Canadian, we don't have Smile. Amazon.ca here, uh, but if you ship things through Amazon, you can use smile.amazon.com, uh, and then you can pick a charity, and Amazon will donate on your behalf for all of your purchases. Uh, so I found uh, an Arizona uh, Husky Rescue. I thought I'd throw that up. I think that's a good. I think that's a good feature, but I don't think they they have that in Canada just yet. So whenever I get to send any of my awesome American friends things via the Amazon. Uh, I will be trying to select the charity accordingly, if possible. So that's pretty cool. So today has been pretty good. Today has been pretty all right. <laughs> I also added a new command today. Uh, yeah, well, and so the thing was, like, I've got Prime, right? No big deal. But Prime only works for certain things. So, you know, when it's not a Prime affiliated item they were just like yeah don't worry this is gonna take like 11 days for what might be a questionable item and i'm like oh that's no mm, that's stressful because you know i i predate the microwave i predate the microwave so i sort of remember when food always took a long time but then all of a sudden i got to see the world get upset when something takes two minutes instead of three minutes or, or sorry two minutes instead of one minute uh you know so like now that i've got one and two day shipping anytime something takes 10 days you're just like are you kidding me didn't see that. Do you think the same one uh, have selected for all your anime? Oh, nice, nice, nice. That is the same one. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I kind of figured there's a few of them, but, you know, I took a look around and I was like, this one looks legit. So that's pretty cool. That is awesome. That is awesome. So it's nice to have the stress alleviated. I, the, the shipping stuff is always terrible, but if I was to have something shipped from Canada, oh, 
the 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 shipping costs would be crazy it would be nuts all that sort of stuff <laughs> so i added i added apparently i got the uh the command wrong with the the emote isn't that what it is edge of four height is that not what it says oh i guess maybe did they come up this no they didn't uh but i actually have a tiktok video of me sharing bagged milk uh with the world apparently because my section of canada is just strange that way uh da, 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 da. see because it's capitalized should it be capitalized Anyway, you're a better editor of this stuff than I, so feel free. It's a, also a hidden command. I figure that doesn't matter if you're the editor of it. If you're if you're so inclined, feel free to edit my awesome mistakes. In America, you put two pieces of paper in a mail office six miles away from the destination. It takes eight business days. <laughs> yeah, damn. There's actually a Reddit thread on uh, times that uh, the buy a web wedge sub is currently out of stock. I think it actually has a 30 day thingy. Does he currently not have a sub? Is that, oh, that is the problem. That is the problem, isn't it? Oh, well now hold on. Anyway, there's a Reddit thread on successful times, uh, like, sorry, times that uh, post offices were successful in delivering things when the odds were stacked against them. And one of them was like, that blonde girl that works at the factory down the road and it was mailed from one country to the other but they had the city right and they literally got it the right person uh so there's my let me see now it's 30 days but does that have it fixed itself yet yeah i don't know what i guess it's 30 days from when i saved it that's annoying uh i don't know how to say reaching pull on time yeah i don't really know shoot well, do I have a... No, all of that is zeroed right now. Limit one, enter amount, enter number of minutes, time between up to seven days. Oh, up to seven days? Huh. I'm not just sure why that says that it's... Technical difficulties indeed. I can't actually set it for 30 days. I thought at one point that I did. Wedge sub. How about this? We'll just go no more cooldown, no more limit. Is that a thing? The, and they're 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 typically uh, instant save. Let me know. Are we able to gift wedge a sub today? Technical difficulties, man. There we go. Ooh. Brobot needs to be able to use our emotes. Come on now. All right, one moment. Yeah, yeah, noob. I I kind of I kind of think that that was a thing, but I don't know to the point that I expect Google to remember who I give subs to. Uh, also, yes, hello kitty. How are you today? How was your stuff? Whoa! Well, thanks Anonymous on behalf of Murder Walrus. Now Brobot can help out when somebody asks about Canada on top of the regular height. Does he, he, he does the, he does the, this height and it sometimes, yeah, it has, it has the emotes in it. Done. Most especially he can cheer for the Fs. Wait, is 100 hype in there? Is that an emote still? I noticed 100 hype is coming up in, ch I mean, we're just going to do all the technical difficulties tonight. How about, how about, we jump into some game. I guess that was one of the ones that was, uh... Oh. Oh. I owe you one wallpaper, guys. Oh, nope, there we go. Also, I can't tell. That sounds a decent clip louder than it did last time we played. <laughs> Let's maybe drop these. Uh, there we go. Get some apply in there. Binary Sage. Binary Sage in the chat. How's it going? How are the things you have been getting all of the time to stop in and say hi? It is great. It is a great scene. What do you want? Dude, where my wallpaper? It's been a month. <laughs> 
I'm terrible at 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 at, at debts. At debts returned. What do we have for volume? That doesn't sound very loud. I think I nerfed the heck out of that. Hold on, back into options for a second. It, uh, audio. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess what we should do, we shouldn't test it while standing on top of a bin. Let's test it while standing on top of a... These things are normally uh, ungodly loud, so... Like this part of it right here. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll have to just make sure it doesn't get too loud. There's something that's like a rattly engine that I keep not being able to hear for a sec. Whoa, backwards. Okay, let's just land. There we go. You're still tired? I can believe it. Worked. Okay, so work till 12.50 a.m. Friday this morning in Sarnia. Sarnia. Sarnia is a hike. Bro, what is all kinds of up, man? Uh, yeah. You can always just borrow your pupper and use them as a blanket. Oh, I bet you, I bet you Seb is a badass blanket. He'd be warm. It'd be like having one of those, like, weighted heavy blankets for hooking y'all up. Uh, welcome to the factory, everybody. This place has gotten all kinds of crazy since we started. It used to be super tight. Like, all of my machines touched. And, like, conveyor belts were just, like, the right amount of space. And then out of nowhere, we just started to do things like this. Also, my conveyor belts go stupid fast anymore. 52-ish kilos? I'm 52-ish kilos. Dude, that is a hefty dog. That is, that is a hefty dog, buddy. That is a hefty dog. That, wow. Now, I will say, I grew up with poodles. Five of them. And not, not all at once. Individual poodles throughout my life. The first one was a Chihuahua Poodle Cross. Honestly, the chillest of all the dogs. Um, yeah. That is massive chunk. Um, so tonight, where do I get my fabric? Fabric, I think, is at the other end. Hold on. I don't know where I keep half the crap in this factory anymore, though, because I spend most of my time... Oh, wait, like, the, the, this place is automated. This place does its thing. So I spend most of my time, uh, no, in this one. Hold on. Uh, way out there in the wilderness. In the wilderness, right? Trying to figure stuff out. Boosh. Uh, fabric. Do I have 50 fabric already? I have 50 fabric already. Uh, and now I need aluminum. Uh, back up. Boosh. A lot of his weight is muscle, though. Vet said he's only about five kilos heavier than he should be. Oh, that's not bad, then. That's not bad. That's pretty sweet. I had a, a schoolyard. Where do I keep this stuff? I had a schoolyard uh, near me, my high school, uh, that I lived, like, pretty much right beside. So I could take my dog there every single day. He's a little husky. He's a little big husky. That was gold. Uh, so I could take my dog there, unleash him, and just let him run. And poodles are fast. They're like rabbit dogs. They're actually meant to chase rabbits. So they need to be like agile fast. So they can like 90 degree turn the whole thing. It's kind of like having Tron the dog. Um, but my high school was very sports oriented. Uh, so we had multiple fields. Uh, soccer, football, the whole bit. So the place was staggering massive and manicured because it's a high school. Uh, so I didn't have to worry too much about running my dog around. My dog could run himself, which was awesome. We will just take all of that. Thank you. Let's go build us a hazmat suit, peeps. Uh, all of these are incoming. Okay. Oosh, you gonna sit back and watch? Have at, have at. Uh, this game is super, uh, it, it's super chill. From an organization standpoint, I really like to organize stuff. Uh, this game is just really well done. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I hope it doesn't give you vertigo though. I have a tendency to zip around in my, in my, in my boom tubes, which we're probably gonna take 
Hazmat suit? Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to take one of my railgun style boom tubes uh, and we're going to fire us over a mountain range. Uh, okay, so hazmat suit, check. Uh, I think it needs ammo. We're going to come to the shop. I like to buy my ammo from the shop. Radiation filters. Uh, I get 10 iodine infused filters. What do those cost to make? Hold on. They're probably really expensive. Uh, can't make them. Where do they go? Where do they go? I don't have aluminum casing. I don't bother to make them yet because so far this is the first thing I needed them for. So otherwise I'd be able to make 82 of these things. I'm just going to buy them. So, okay, the way that this shop works, this is amazing. The way that the shop works, that's the, that's, that's the store, the entire store. The whole thing, right, is the whole, that's the whole shop. It's like a kiosk at a mall. Um, but it's, it's geared to this machine, which is just a giant grinder. Not grinder, not like that. But anyway. And basically, anything that you make that's overstock, anything that would jam your lines if it, if, if it gets stuck, uh, you send to the sink, and it turns it into coupons. Uh, so I store my surplus coupons, I think, in a box. Yeah, we got 14 of those. Pfft, that's beautiful. Okay. Let's go buy a boatload of uh, radiation filters. Uh, how many can I... Can I buy lots? Wait, I... Yeah, here. Oh, here we go. Four. Let's get 10 of them, and then we will buy them all, and that gets me, so what happens is, if I'm wearing my hazmat suit, if I'm wearing my hazmat suit, uh, it just consumes from my backpack, just like, I don't know if you can see, look at all that hype, look at all that damn hype, it says 458 for my jetpack, that's because I'm physically carrying jugs of packaged fuel, just jugs of this stuff, just, you know, I'm just, they're in my pocket. I have 458, and that's because I'm addicted to flying in this game. I kind of like that, but, you know, that's just a lot of fun. Um, so we have to go, we have to search for, or, can I search for it yet? <gasps> we can't even search for it yet, guys. These are all the different minerals and things that I can look for. Uh, and we can't even, we have to do some crazy stuff. Oh. I thought I had all ducks in row. What's going on here? Uh, nuclear power. This gives me my scanner. Okay. Hey, can we make this yet? Can we? Does anything else give me that scanner? No. Okay. Ah, the other one's with 11 hype. Okay, cool, cool. So 100 hype is no longer? Is that, I guess? Yeah, 100 hype got taken away. Like, so when I showed up to, to uh, Better Twitch TV today, um, I noticed I had two slots. I was going to be grabbing Ruby Roll, and I was like, oh, I wonder which ones I'm going to replace. And then it said 13 of 15, and I'm all like, and I'm all like, and I'm all like, what are you talking about? So what we're doing right now, guys, what we're doing right now, uh, is we're going to feed my hub these materials, and they're going to give me upgrades. A thousand cable? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, hold on. I don't know if I have enough supercomputers, though. These things... Where do they go? They go over here? Jeez, this place. This place. Better Twitch TV might have entirely removed the emote. Oh, I'm sure 100 hype gets moved or, or gets used. I would think that what happened is that the person that owns it actually got rid of it. Just straight up said, yo, because 100 hype is awesome. I know a ton of folk. However, there's also duplicates. So maybe they did a purge of duplicates. Maybe the owner put out, like, DMCA? Gee. I don't know. 
I just know that if you basically untick sharing, that'd be the end of it. Uh, where do I keep cable? Cable's this way. Cable's far. Cable is this one? A thousand cable. Oh, which now stack by two. This is in the update, guys. This is in the update. So these are all 200 stacks. Uh, as they get made, this 113 will hit 200. It's going to continue to fill. That's brilliant. That's why I was worried about getting a thousand cables. I knew that they were not the best. Shroom Pog is an amazing one that is in better Twitch TV. We might want to... I might be able to sign you up as an admin of better Twitch TV as well. Uh, so Walrus, there's an alright chance that you could... Here, let's take this boom tube back for a sec. Uh, <laughs> you could help curate some better emotes all around if you're up for it. I, I loved finding... It, it was tough searching for the Hollow Knight ones, because if they're not straight up called Hollow Knight, you know. So Hollow Dance, at least, thankfully, is about six different emotes. I picked, I think, the biggest of the two that were of that style. Uh, where is he? Is he down here? All of this produces my concrete. And concrete is responsible for all of the ramps and all of the, like, flooring and all that sort of stuff. Uh, okay, these do stack by 500 now? Ooh, that's awesome. Sort. Beautiful. This machine's going to be going for a bit. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go get us the ability to scan for uranium. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good selection. Uh, I chose a whole bunch of explosion, hype, and fire emotes really early on. We could probably... Uh, we could probably trade out a couple of those different ones. Most of them are in that in that height, but still. Oh yeah. We get to launch the head of Voltron again. Milestone into reached. space. Uranium scanning unlocked. With the provided Wave bye -bye. parts, you can now set up nuclear power generation, which balances an increase of fuel production Ooh. complexity with improved. Shroom power Pog, output. Maya Love. A new project nice. part enables progress to the next phase. Bye bye. Note this method of power generation creates nuclear waste. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with nuclear waste. This is fantastic. So, the hype. Let's do. I don't expect that there's any here that we're going to be able to, to see. Uh, there's my map. And so when dings go off. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, there and there. That's up by what station is that? Court station? Oh, hi. Hold on. And then way out there as well. All of this dark is a level higher than I've actually been. Physically higher. That's why that's why I, I, I haven't been able to see it. Um okay. Oh cool. This thing's making something. <laughs> that's hype. Um, okay. Oh, we should eat stuff. We have no health. <laughs> I'm paying zero attention to my person as an actual person. They're an employee of Fix-It. They'll, they'll be fine. Uh, but, okay, so that's really far away. But this one here out by Quartz Station. That's interesting. Uh, something else that they added to the game. If I go check out... Yeah, here, under transportation. These are all the things I can build. Uh, so, like, truck stations, they're, like, for depots. Trucks can drive back and forth uh, and deliver. I have one of those employed up here. Uh, right there, in fact. There's the boom arm for it. Um, and I have a, a electro locomotive. Electric locomotive. I have two of those. But a drone port was brand new, added to the game. Oh, hey. Uh, I don't have, yeah, the aluminum chassis, which I will likely need 50. That's not bad. I can set up a machine for those. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Okay. Um, I don't even have any ammo for this thing. I just carry it. Ooh. 
using my jetpack when autosave goes off is always dangerous. Uh, where is Quartz Train? I might just try to take Quartz Train out. I think he's at the station. They are at the station. Let's not necessarily gender my train. Uh, is the Crystal Express just standing there? I don't think it's supposed to wait this long to go and pick up. It's supposed to wait that long to go and pick up. There we go. All right, I'm looking at that emote up close. Is that one of the miners in, is it Crystal, Crystal Peak holding a heart? Oh boy, howdy, they're fast. Okay. Let's go catch a train, peeps. <clears throat> I think I have everything that we need to do to do. Boom. My fix-it locomotive. Let's ride a train for a little bit. Oh, I am curious. How much do we drop off? Okay. 334... I use that to make uh, aluminum. So it's gonna pick that up and take it. Drops it right in the bin. <clears throat> so this will be a bit of a quicker way uh, through uh, the the fantastic jungle that we have coming up. This track was was hilarious to lay. Granted, the one beside it is a lot bigger. It was also a line that I drove my tractor back and forth a butt ton of times. Whereas this one kind of... Hi there. This one kind of deviates quite a bit. Goes over a couple of rocks because I was having fun with it. Trains clip through everything. They have zero collision once they're moving. They even clip through other trains. You can have two trains on the same track going opposite direction pass through each other. It's kind of a cool mechanic from a logistical standpoint. Oh, there was the other train there. That's not bad. So this one follows for quite a bit, but goes, you know, right through the ground a couple of times, all that stuff. Yeah, I have a feeling they'll eventually fix that, but they have zero terraforming. Absolutely no terraforming. And without that, I think that makes it, I think that makes it a bit of a challenge. Um, so yeah, we go right through the sand right here. All right, so somewhere over here, we get to go on a bit of an excursion. They added also, this is new as well. This is like a water, a water vein. This is brand new. I built this station. This was not here. Oh, not the ground uh, passed through the trains clipping through each other. Yeah, I think they just did that for the simplicity of it um, because it is possible to have uh, if one train traveling your loop wasn't fast enough to deliver all of your product you could have two trains and they didn't want to impede things like that I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm with you stylistically and on a design choice I would say one train per track please um, but this thing is pretty lit it spider webbed outward and created little nodes and I feel like I would be able to tap this yeah I'd tap that I'm not sure if it's just the middle one that has to be this just says water whereas the the actual nodes denote that it's pure sort of a thing right so it's very interesting very interesting copper blah um but well, I guess we've got a couple of these. Uh, barrel nuts are just for health. Shoot, what? V. <laughs> and uranium. I hope it's not way the up there. Oh, I bet you it's way the up there. Oh, 
<laughs> That's a lot of axes. Hold on, let's buckle. Yeah, yes. I'm trying to remember how I particularly got up there. I want to say I actually used my boom tube from over here. We can try it. Just look at Factorio. It's entirely okay to have multiple trains per track, but hitting each other should damage or destroy them. Yeah, and with the speed that these things go, I should show you, if you were traveling 200k along this track and you just sever the line, the train just stops dead. Zero friction. Just stops dead. Well, I guess not zero friction, is it? It's 100% friction. But there's like, there's no... No inertia. Uh, it just... Stops. So they, I mean, at this point, yeah, zero inertia. So at this point, like, they've they've simplified having to see your train just go flying off. Now, I will point out that these are simplifications from other, uh, from the other modes of transportation. So under, random hand, here we go. Uh, the tractor, I find, is actually kind of dope. It's like driving a cube, and you've seen this thing go up a, like, sheer cliff, and you laughed. It was amazing. But this thing is meant for the moon. This thing is the bounciest piece of nonsense going until they created this thing, which literally flies. So these things I find absolutely useless to use. Um, but I had uh, I had an automated tra uh, tractor, uh, and it went. To, it, it it actually still is in play today. Uh, it goes down the narrowest path. Hold on, can I? Where is it? Uh, yeah, it travels down this tiny, tiny path. I, can we zoom in on that? Yeah, there we go. It, it it travels all the way down this little tiny, tiny path. Is it this path? No, wait, hold on. This path? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It has to go past all this. Anyway, it goes to my coal, my coal station. Uh, I was in a similar tractor, and we collided, and we bumped into each other, and that thing went flying. And when I say flying... Like, that's a... Hold on, back to where it was. That's a lake. Right? So, we hit right here, and I crashed into the wall, and it just went yeet, and went right over the edge. So, I was like, ah, oh, crap. And if that happens, the path is attached to the tractor. So, what I needed to do, I was like, ah, oh, whatever. I have to drive this again. So, I turned around, and I drove back to the station, and I got out of my truck to check on things like fuel, and I was hit from behind by the one that was yeeted into the lake. So I didn't know this, but there's a construct to pick up the tractor that was swimming in the lake. And that thing, it's a deep lake. It's, it's, it's deep at this point. It's definitely deep over here. Um, but there's a, there's a construct that actually managed to turn it around, drive it over, maybe drop it, whatever. I don't know. Mario carted the thing. Um, but that must take a lot of effort. And I've never, I've actually seen a truck stay upside down with the wheels going the whole time and I was in town doing stuff but I think if I had gone to one of my other like depots and come back it would have flipped itself over I, I think that's annoying to write so I think they did not want the trains to collide because nobody wants to pick up a train right is that your lake that makes Straub know about uh, no no the one that uh, I keep pushing that button hold on map is not M in this game, because M is something else. Uh, that one, I want to say, because this is an abyss. Somewhere over here is just an abyss. Uh, and we do have a lake that you can just see the waterfall go to nothing. That's dif that's very disconcerting. And so, like, it's a lake until it's not a lake. But good news, we have to go there. Um, Should we just maybe... Ankle Express, hoof it. Oh, can I can I build a truck? Hold on. Sometimes I can just... <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I can just pull a truck out of my butt. This is fantastic. We'll go over here. We'll go... Tractor. Turn it around. Uh, there. Just pull a ride out of my butt. No big deal. Whoa, are those fire bees? They look a lot brighter out here. Plans the stream, Mike. We're gonna try to find uranium. Uh, but I thought uranium was here at this station. 
and it turns out we want to be over at uh, the other one with my ra uh, ra oh hi, railgun style uh, cannon. So we're gonna go to the, the 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 big scary lake for one. Uh, now I collide with the rails, so we have to be semi cautious about this. Oh shoot, we also have to turn around. I wonder, hold on. Where are they right now? Oh, he's he's at the Okay, never mind. Okay, so we need to go this way. It's tough to, to drive that thing over all of this. Just drive through the rail. I... It'll actually get kind of stuck. But at the same time, it's dangerous to be wandering around at night. Oh, and I do have... What is my flashlight button? There we go. Sometimes I can go right through it. Whoa, there he goes. <laughs> Dangerous at night, yeah. There's, um... There are bad guys in the game. And there are, like, really not nice bad guys in the game at night. Also, fall damage, so I kind of want to make sure... Those guys. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> oh, jeebus, those guys. <laughs> There's tons of them over here. I don't have any... An oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. They can actually move the vehicle. Anyway, that's where we're going. Let's do this. And let's get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, they're following me. <laughs> Dangerous at night dangerous at night. See these guys? The giant testicle creatures? They fine. The skitters? Yee. I think we're okay-ish. I hear stuff though. Hold on. Fuel. And there's a bad guy right there. So... The reason I get into my vehicle is that regular bad guys like this don't see me at all. Like, not at all. In fact, I can ragdoll them around and they don't even notice. I dragged one an entire world away. But, uh, you have to have guns because check out what this nonsense does. So he creates a fireball that shoots fireballs. <laughs> and now that I'm in my vehicle, he's all like, what? Nothing. So I don't know if that was also intended. Um, but that little orange and blue thing on the other side has bees in it. More on that in a sec. So bees, three of them at a time, will come out of that particular little winged pod. And those three are pretty tough to contend with. Are they up over this way? No, I think they're behind us. There's a section in this game where for some reason bees constantly spawn. I want to go see how many bees are there now. Anyway, the night stalkers don't care about my vehicle and they will attack it. It's pretty terrible. Oh yeah, it's just to the other side of this. So over here is my hilariously aggro bee swarm. Now bear in mind, they don't care because I'm in my ride. I step out of this thing and I am surrounded. Three at a time will come out of one of those thingies. I got no idea why there's this many of them. <laughs> like, yeah. 
don't care because I'm in my ride. Like, you can seriously have, like, a little festival of, of lights out here. Anyway, those guys are jerks, too. They swarm. They swarm. Uh, so, for the most part, I need to... I don't think I even have the materials to make ammo for my weapon. I'm looking. No. Crash sites actually have materials. Yeah, three bees per pod. No idea why there's like 50-something bees over there. That's... I think what happened was the pod broke, but for some reason the game, every time I pass it, spawns three bees. If you notice, there's a boom tube. So I pass this area quite a bit. <laughs> he has a single nail and he needs to beat them to get hive blood. That's pretty much it. It's my own, it's my own pantheon. So this, everybody, is the fuel center. And what I'm holding right here, Mike, this is a, a, um, a rebar gun. You, you load it by jamming a piece of rebar in and then bending two giant springs back. And then when you hit the thing, the springs go and it fires a single piece of rebar. It's my favorite weapon. It's my favorite weapon. The other things I have are a raspberry, uh, a beacon. That's not a weapon. Ah. Oh this thing yeah it's kind of like a lightsaber but it's more of like a get back saber it's, it's like a taser saber well, that's what it is this thing's a taser saber it's also pretty fast the snood pooper <laughs> that's pretty much it this is like a, a really nice fly swatter it's not bad and yeah i know you don't i know you don't like the the extended boom tubes how do you feel about the about the uh going really really fast on conveyor belts though like I'm a, I'm I I like that a little bit better. Yeah. So you go. And you go like pretty darn quick. Woo. Woo. Also, I have one of those grasshoppery things. These things are a nightmare to drive. Oh, but I'm going to nick a bunch of your fuel. Yeah, I am. Taken. Yeah, it's 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 nice and quick. It's 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 straight. I I really actually kind of wish that I could do proper like smooth curves of the of the boom tube, so it's not quite a chiropractic you know jump through. I feel like I'm getting all of my adjustments at once. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't think I have any way of getting ammo for anything other than this, so it's going to be. An interesting outing. So from up here, we're going to do another ding, and then we're going to take the railgun. Unless we careen right into the railgun first. Okay, cool. Let's do a ding. Boing. There's a way to make this better if you put uh, that conveyor belt in front, and then zoom. You're already moving at, like, Mach 3 before you enter. Oh, sweet. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be that one there, which is just past my court station. Now, if you notice, my trajectory, I'm facing in this direction, and I think I go about this far. <laughs> I still got it all over your face. Some of it through, like, the largest hole part, though, right? That was okay? Can I ask utensil? Dude, dude, are you using one giant, like, bubble tea straw? <laughs> Alright. Are we ready? We're going to take my favorite mode of transportation now. No idea. So this boom tube only has one curve. And I think we want to be going this way. And you're like, what the fuck? Oh, it just loaded a bunch of forest for me. Okay, that 
that's gonna kill me. Raspberry. 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 All right, how close did we get? Oh, I think we might have overshot it a little bit. We were supposed to go somewhere around here. <laughs> That's what I get for not using my map. Well. We got to some interesting places, though. Okay, so there's a lot of icons. Let's do something about that as long as we know we're safe. Are we somewhere safe? Okay. Uh, I hear something. Oh, jumping. All right, let's go. Oh, not that way. Where's my weapon? More health things. Woo! All right, it's going to be a lot of me running from things. Hey, uranium. Oh, radiation level's already up. Let's back up. We're, 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 we're still wearing... Oh, jeez. We're, we're still wearing the, the jetpack for... I'm just going to gesture all around us and say reasons. And, uh... Because it's dope. It looks really fashionable on me. I don't think he can climb. <laughs> all right. Beacons. Uh, we're going to say we need court station to be infinite. We need KVO just to be, say, medium. Beacon will be medium. Oh, seven supercomputers. We got to bring stuff out there. Court station. Okay, good stuff. So that means... We're heading to the pink, and we needed to make sure that it was going to be viable and visible, and that we could we could go. Okay. Wait till you uh, see me eat all the bacon agarics. Uh, this is a mushroom that deals two health. Uh, the little weird nut things only do one health. No, half a health. So that's no good. So I have a gas mask I can wear to go through the poison and I think I have yeah I have gas filters and I've, I've got that guy that takes the place of the jetpack uh, and I have the hazmat suit but I like my jetpack way too much oh there's a, there's a glowing object in the middle there, but it's all surrounded by haz hazardous things, and I don't think I can... I don't think I can do anything about that. Do you... Okay, so, posit this. If I go and mine some uranium with my hazmat suit on and then run away and take my hazmat suit off, the uranium in my pocket should kill me, right? That object is a work-in-progress object there, so I don't need to worry about it myself also that guy saw me I wonder how well he can can he get to me oh Jeebus determined little bugger isn't he I usually fight these guys with something that I can shoot partly because they charge and do that <laughs> did you see how high up I went Maybe your uranium is unsafe. My uranium is just fine. Where did he? Where did he? Where did he? I'm gonna end up getting that guy right in my backside, and I don't need that. As big as they are, they're also a little sneaky. I think I can hear him going off. All right, I don't think there's anything particularly overtly dangerous. We're going to go for a bit of a jaunt. And when we see things like this, we can go yoink <clears throat> and grab up little berries. 
Ooh, hi. I really do wish I had uh, rebar on me, though. Really pretty uh, biomes they have, though. Look, look at this place. Giant, like, spore sack looking things on up. I hear something evil. Do I hear something evil? What do we have here? So, and this is a crash site. If you notice it, kind of, there's parts of it that'll look like Voltron's head that we sent off to space. Uh, but the big chunky part whoa needs one quantum computer i've not i whoa i don't even know what that is so you put down no where is it a beacon you say one quantum computer and we come back Doink. uh and what that does is it gives me an upgrade item uh it's called a hard drive. I scan it. I get good stuff. But I've never heard of the thing it's asking for. Sometimes they just say, I need 30 megawatts of power. Ooh, 15 supercomputers. I have it. If this... Oh, Jeebus, mother of all, that thing is big. Oh, wow. Uh... Uh... I'm just like haphazardly looking through the rub rubble and whatnot, being like, hey, I wonder if there's anything cool here. And a skitter the size of five or so horses is aggro off in the distance. Can you see those legs just a flailing? I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's stuck on something. Otherwise, he'd be all up in my grill. I have to go in that direction. Where is my best? Where are we? Are we <laughs> We're way up here. Oh, 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 okay. He's making noise behind me. We're just gonna go. Get. We're just gonna go. <laughs> just gonna go. It's like the smoke monster from Lost. You just say nope and you get the heck out. Dunsville. Don't even know what's over the cliff. Don't even care. It's not a horse sized skitter. We're moving. Oh, Jeebus! Okay, th there's an alright chance that's him. That's the smoke monster from Lost. Ooh, bacon. You stop for bacon. Where's the one that was across from here? There it is. Excuse me, you have fantastic legs. Move. Oh my, Jeebus. I can still hear it. We're running. That was more bacon. I don't care. We gotta move. We gotta move. He just wants some friends. I'm sure. Ooh. Coal mode? Coal. I no longer hear the devil. Maybe it can't cross streams. Anyway. The little skitters travel in packs. The big ones are kind of like they're by themselves, but... I think they're even just four-legged, but they're still an unnerving little beast. I say a little because it's pixels on my screen, but jeez. They're like the size of the tractor. It's fantastic. Look at how pretty that is. Right? Isn't that nice? Isn't that just gorgeous? I also keep this at like a lower graphic setting, by the way. Oh, radiation levels. Oh, right, because we're probably... Hold on. Are we close to the... Yeah, we're close to the site. Not that far. I also hear things that are moving. I just don't want it to be things that can hurt me. All right. 
So it's just over there. Nicely. Nicely. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Not bad, okay. I'm debating how close we are to going back. So I can get some ammo for my, my favorite gun. Alright. Uh, hazmat suit. Oh. Where is the one that's here? Is the it keeps going away before I, I get a chance to see. I'm not wearing my my jetpack, so I have to watch the edge now. Oh. Um I was not anticipating any of that. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, I think I can hear stuff. What am I hearing? And I'm pretty sure we're at the base of the nests of those things. That's what we're hearing. Like this is where skitters are from. It's the same place as uranium. That's unnerving. Oh, yeah, like right, right there. And they can do that. All right, that's new. Uh, not so much lasers. The, uh, oh, berries. Hi. Those guys have weird specularity. That's actually what it should look like. Oh, well, okay, the giant. Oh, 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 oh. Weird that he's not coming up so quick on me. They have like little tiny um, meteors, almost like little little. There's supposed to be little little dots, and then every once in a while they rush towards it. But for some reason, this one, the specularity is going crazy. Wow, I need all the ammo to deal with those dudes i don't know if you can see it but it's right there and they're huge wow moving moving we're going to go get some weaponry. I don't mind dealing with some of the... But wow. Okay, where are we up here? Okay, let's go for a fall. Yeah, so this game has, has a lot of danger going for it. Mm, and there's no fast... Well, oh, bees. There's no fast uh, travel, so... Welcome to Crystal Peaks. <laughs> um, I was really hoping I could have grabbed that... Uh, oh, there's that place. That's not too bad. We might just go wait for a train. There we go. This will make it at least a little tiny bit easier and we can plan accordingly. Whoa, hi. <laughs> it's a good thing there was a roof that has shot me into the atmosphere before. 
and I had enough sense to spam buttons until it turned off my jetpack with the tiniest amount of fuel left as I'm plummeting back down to the ground. Auto save. Uh, it happens in Valheim too. In Valheim, it's really quick that uh, I'm turning like this, just like a nice quick turn, but that that action gets cached, so you end up spinning really, 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 really fast uh, if if you catch it at the right time. There we go. All right, so we were clearly not prepared for having to deal with the fact that radiation is that widespread, that it is not actually up top, it's down below, and I will need my jetpack for getting down there, I think. Uh, but also, wow, that's a great deal uh, of, of skitters. So we're going to go home. Big home. We're going to go home, we're going to grab two weapons, uh, and we're going to make sure that we have... Oh, I can't look at my inventory right now. We're going to make sure that we have a lot of concrete, because concrete is required for building, like, platforms and stuff. Um, so if we need to, we can uh, build ladders, platforms, things that help us on our fantastic journey of, of what is going on. Wow. So yeah. This, uh, sometimes going out into the wilderness like that. I do really good not to get killed, though. I do really good not to die too frequently. Like, we overshot our, uh, our, our, our target by a pretty okay margin. Okay, so 700 fuel is not bad. I think maybe... I have a box that I put everything in when I'm going on specific adventures. So I'm gonna, if I'm going to be building stuff, I don't want things like my weapons and whatever on me. Uh, and it's not that one, so is it this one? Yes. Okay, my rifle, that's what we're going to be carrying. Let's do that. Uh, and I think that's the only thing I needed from here. We need to go get... Uh, is 87 going to be enough? I don't happen to have... Anything in any of these other ones? No? Okay. I usually have cartridges. So I guess I shot them all. I fired all of my, all of my rebars. We'll make, like, say, 50 of these. Call that good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That should be fine. Uh, we will also... Oh, we will also grab some food. We didn't do any planning at all. I think that's my favorite thing about playing this game. You can sometimes just be like, meh. I have lots of bacon, but I'm going to leave my pile at home. 23 should be fine. Um, and then you have to put here. What's in my hand is not the same as what's in my inventory. So there we go. Uh, now let's also put my rifle on up. Now, this is funny. I found out that rifle ammo takes... Hold on. It takes a weird... A weird combo of things. Bacon, indeed. Oddly, beacons... Not bacon. Beacons. Are in the list of requirements. If you notice... Okay, this is a thing. Beacons take four items to make. Four things to make one. Which means that in order to make beacons, you need to own the machine I call the fist. The four-in one. It's four in, it's one out. 
So these things can make a variety of things to and including the friggin' beacon. So like for the most part, bacons, for the most part, when you need to make a bacon and you need them for things like uh, vehicles all have a bacon in them. Uh, but for some reason, so do rifle cartridges. I, I have no idea why. That's just the weirdest material. One beacon, bacon. Uh, per rifle cartridge. So because I don't want to automate bacons Oh wait, hold on. Oh, 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 turn around, turn around, back up. Yeah, it's over here. Whew. Because. <laughs> oh, that thing looks great. I built this whole world all over here, which includes a fist. And the whole purpose is that I come here and I put beacons in and it will now make me four, four rifle cartridges. 418. What am I saying? Four. Uh, which eventually go into here. So since we're going to be taking on skitters, I say we take on some skitters. Uh, and we've got, there we go. We've got a couple of very good weapons. Wait, why does this say I have one of these? Do I have more than one? Oh, 46, okay. Yeah, there we go, wasn't showing that. Uh, okay, so we've got, and then melee just in case we need it. Melee. Melee. Okay, now we need to take either a boom tube or a far, a far away train. I'm going to vote train. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Where's he at? Nah, he'll come back. So pretty much what we're what we're planning to do it's just past this so I don't really even need to go all that far but I don't think I can get to it from the actual court station um, quartz is very deep so it's at the it's at the, the base floor level I imagine that the uranium is as well but it's just if you notice when we zoom in here I'm actually at this level but underneath so court station has a roof over it great big stone roof uh, there was like seven or eight of those power slugs in here. It was crazy. There's actually a couple I haven't been able to get yet. Um, so I think because the uranium dings like over here, we were up on top of this thing. I think on this edge, we weren't getting your uh, radiation, but here we were. And then this is where we were seeing maybe all the, all the skitters coming and all that. Um... So it's going to be tough. We need to be able to drop down. Maybe we can drop down from over here. Um, so yeah, I'm not just sure what our what our plan of attack should be. Uh, that's what yeeting yourself into the sky and hoping that you land in the approximate right area uh, is the most fun. Uh, we don't need that train, though. We need... Ah, the other guy's coming right now. So I'm hoping that we have enough jetpack. Now, there is also a parachute. If I want to, I could make parachutes. Uh, and we might be able to do a nice and friendly descent. However. That doesn't seem nearly as fun. That doesn't seem nearly as chaotic. Woo! Clipping through the everything. I like this train because it's my older of them and it, it transports my fuel. Uh, so those, those are actual liquid um, barrels. 
And uh, so it's transporting fuel that goes into the giant bulbous looking uh, things in the distance. Uh, as well, it drops off. I think there's five or six materials now. Six that, that show up in that. Uh, in that solids bin. Uh, there's plastic, there's rubber, there's coal. No, sorry, petroleum coke. Uh, fuel, like packaged fuel. I think bauxite, which is the mineral that turns into aluminum. I feel like there's another one. Oh, circuits. Circuits are manufactured somewhere else in Driffin uh, and exported here. I kind of like that if you need to, you can you can do that. You can build all of the materials required uh, to have your factory be out there uh, making circuits and making like package fuel, crap like that, and sending it home. I think that's really cool. Or you can have the materials just shipped home and built all at home. Now, initially, when I picked up this game, uh, Parker and Trex also grabbed it, and they've played a bit of it. I know Parker's excited for Update 4, but I think if we ever get enough community people that also play the game and are interested, um, there's a couple of fun challenges. And uh, the one that piques my interest that I'd heard about is the, the, the 5x5 challenge. The 5x5. And that's where... It's five foundation squares by five foundation squares, and that's your entire floor. You can build it as high as needed. And I think that one has has a lot of really fun uh, building potential. I think that one would be really, really interesting uh, to, to, to do as a group. All right. We have our weapons this time. I've never actually hot barred these, but maybe I should. How do I do that? Uh, is there a way to put you equipment shortcuts? I kind of wanted to put this. I don't think there's a way to put this on my bar though. Uh, shift left mouse button, double click on equipment. That's how I equip. Transfer all stacks, split stack, close. Mm. I kind of wanted to put it like a seven or eight on my hotbar. I don't think we get to do that. All right, something I didn't do last time, but I should have. We're gonna save right before we yeet ourselves into the void. Here, save. No, we don't want to overwrite a save. Hold on. Save game. Save. There we go. Got a brand new save resume now we're only looking to go and we have to go past one of these over a single valley and we're gonna land well I guess we can ding it won't write it on the map until it dings You can see my conveyor belts that go up the mountain that deliver bauxite to us. Okay. So court station, because like, yeah, that's here. And we have to yeet ourselves clean past that to the, okay. Ooh, this way. You see how cheeky that is that it goes away that quick? Okay, guns out. What do we got? A thing skittery out here? Wow, what is that thing? I don't know how well you can see that, but there's little, like, purple streaks running off stuff. And that dude is huge. 
There is also... Ooh, don't fall off. So, <laughs> this is a purple power slug. A purple power slug. I will say that again. A purple power slug. We can't see their face very well, but they have black eyes, and they're very unnerving. Anyway, into my pocket you go. Doink. They sing. Did you hear? Oh, whoa. Is that it right there? Well, now, how do I... Oh. You son of a thing. Okay, this gun... Is it like the Atom Slugs from Bioshock? No. They specifically turn into... Do I have any on me? Yeah, these right here. Power shards. If you notice, there's the recipe for them. Now, the purple ones are a 1 to 5. So they're the best. When you find a green one, they're a single. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? I've got to end you. Blowing up, like, right over my head. Oh, Jeebus. It's like fighting the bugs from, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember the bug movie that was so rad back in the day. The one's from space and they take out Rio de Janeiro. Did I get him? He looks dead. This is Far Cry style. Oh! Hi, Far Cry style indeed. Let's hide behind something until I am not dead. Bugs that take out Rio. Yeah, uh, Starship Troopers. Shoot. Yeah, I was explaining the plot of that very, very well, wasn't I? Starship Troopers. They, uh, are from another planet and they can, they can shoot fire out of their, out of their butts with an incredible accuracy. And it's hilarious. Uh, I don't know if I can get to that without my jetpack. And I don't know. American military as a movie? <laughs> yeah, but that is a lot of movies. I'm safe up here right now, though. This is the problem. Is that really my uranium node? Like if I do this... Or is that just the, hey, this is the thing that you've scanned? Because, like, I, I won't be able to even stand there. These bugs, by the way, they're, they're new. The insects flying in the air are new. I land in immediately. It's like, what's hot? What's hot? That thing right there, for example, that's hot. In a bad way, that's hot. Ooh, bad stuff. All right. Hazmat, hand travel. Oh, nice. Hold to pick up your uranium, pure. I won't be able to make that jump but, as an employee of Fix-It, I don't care about your jumps. Let's go with... That's the hope, Walrus. That's the hope. Oof. Yeah, that's a lot of much. Oh, I can barely look at the thing. Whoa. 
Wait a minute. Is it because there's a, a whip in here? There might be a whip inside here. That might be why it's glowing like this. That's mean. I can make nudes. Yeah, they put a summer's loop inside here. I didn't know summer's loop did this. That kind of made that uranium node look a little more special than it really is. But now, wait a minute. That uranium has to be more than that. That's a problem 20 years down the road. Oh, no, 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 not yeet. Uh, I'm definitely not looking to fall off this. <clears throat> my radiation level is still through the roof, but that's, of course, because it's in my pocket. What am I supposed to do to contain this stuff? Like, legit, what? And... I'll say that normally you don't find pure. Oh, oh, hi, hi, hi. Get wrecked. Get proper sized wrecked. Reload. Did I mention these things only have 10 shots in them? Did I mention this game has danger? Oh boy, howdy. And you know what you get for all of that? Three of the same things that you get when you fight, like, any of the bad guys in this game. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. They're, they're beastly spider-esque for me. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that. Jeebus. I have a feeling this isn't the uranium, though. Like, I think... Yeah, it's still here, but it's not... That's not it. It's down there. So, yeah, uh... Organization, personal storage box, right? Uranium. I'm curious. <laughs> right there. Um, Aragog light. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. It's, it's, it's their speed, but I didn't realize that they, uh, have quite that much, uh, of the poison aspect to them. Yes. Do you see that? I have to get down, down to ground level. So that pretty blue thing in the distance is a plant that can't move, it can't walk, but when you get close, it literally stilts up and it gets probably twice as tall uh, and it can't be shot, but it releases a boat ton of uh, poison into the area. And so, when I say that's why I'm surprised that these guys have poison, that's why. It's because I know of one other thing that does. Did I not? Oh, 
Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, boy. I was like, I wonder if I can do that. I'm back in my bed. I don't have any of my crap on me, by the way. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go... When did... I... I think I was in the middle of battle when autosave went off. I'm already pressing W. I'm already pressing W. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. eat these two let's put bacons on the bar Ooh. well Aragog light just kicked my butt and now it's nighttime Ooh, the silver up in the trees is nice or up in the, the mountains there all right uh so We have to be... We did say ground level, though, right? Look at how dark it gets. I mean, I have a flashlight, but Jesus, does it help? I don't know. Okay, I'm wearing my jetpack. I think that's them just constantly trying to get to me. Like, you can hear skittering sounds constantly and when we had one that was following me for a bit eventually we outran it and then those skittering sounds stopped it's hilarious all right okay so it is just over here This is Zelda Zelda bombing. I could I could actually bomb that. I can't tell. Is that it? It is. You can see how green that is in the distance. It's super bright. Um, can I land down here? All right. We need to be able to like stake this out like we, we have to be able to own this area we have to be able to own the territory that's that's what's happening for the stream is that it just became about a resource battle here so I'm going to clear cut all the leaves as we go I think I got swarmed right here. I also don't know if they can injure your material, like your, uh, oh, slug, if they can injure your equipment or not. All signs say yes. And there they are. Wowza! Oh, takes a lot of ammo, too. But I have 500. 
At 10 a shot, though. Are there any above me that are just unable to get to me because of clipping? Like, as soon as I touch ground. Instant ape shit. And I will say the material that I do get from them isn't even something that you use much of. I think it can be used best as a fuel. Like, I, I feel like... Something is spawning them. Because as soon as I hit the ground, they start coming from the ceiling. Like that. Oof. That one's clipping out, I think. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm not just sure if it's, if there's a finite number of them. I feel like, hold on. I want to find out if there's, if it's going to be an onslaught, because if there is, then this is, this, we're not doing uranium tonight. But so far, I think... We got a huge horde of them, and I'm unsure how much more of that we're getting. There aren't any above or below, so that's okay. It's literally right through there. Yeah. If I had bombs, bombs are a very quick way of getting rid of stuff like this. You lure them over the area and kaboom. Alright. Get them from a distance, maybe. a lot of rounds too all right let's get a save game and if it's just another ridiculous horde we will load I got one. One. That's not bad. Okay. I think we can own this area. That's all right. I just don't know where the triggers are if there's more that are going to do that. Or where that particular one went. I think he just clipped through the floor. That's disconcerting on its own. It's 
trying to do just like safe lures. Okay. We're at floor level. And I think we're doing okay. They're not, I think, as aggressive during the day. Why do you take 30, 40 shots? That's just whack. That's just whack. Thirty, forty rounds. Come on. All right, good stuff. To be honest, they're not as bad as I thought. Two bacon's, and we'll call it all right. So. This is where we need to go when we need to get our radiation on. I'm going to clear cut all of the leaves here. Um, for <laughs> Partly for sight lining because jeebas if those things come back. Or if they live nearby in different amounts. But there... Hype is our ridiculousness that is pure uranium. Sorry, not pure. This is the like. Maybe it's pure. I can't remember. One of them is impure. One of them is pure. You get to mine one of them with a box. The other one you have to pick at it. Also, the leaves will serve as a fine fuel source. All right. I think we're safe, but it's also daytime. And those bastards are way more prominent at night. But let's go grab this bacon agaric. Yes. Agaric? Am I saying that right? Let's see. I legit have no idea how to get this home. So what we're going to try for. Uh, yeah, we probably got all the, all the. Let's build. I suppose we'll have to build. Uh, is it the equipment workshop I got to build? Yeah, I'll need, uh. Can I do a minor MK3? Hold on. No. But I can do a two. That's pretty all right. Perfect. Radiation levels is through the roof. All right. Uh, let's hook up a box. Yeah. Uh, 
And then let's hook up a belt. And let's get some power. We'll start at least getting the... Oh, I don't have the iron rods to make power generator. All right, well, <clears throat> we're going to build the what it takes, and then we're going to come back. We need... Do I have beacons? We need to make... Hopefully we have what it takes to make beacons. I need copper wire. I have a hundred copper ingots on me. Alright. <clears throat> Sometimes you just have the weirdest things on you, you know? That's just the way it be. I don't know why I would be carrying copper ingots. But now we need a craft bench. For when you really need to make that special thing. I don't happen to have any iron uh, ingots on me, do I? <clears throat> you can go through a hazmat kind of quick. How much did I need? <laughs> uh, Alright, power. Biomass burner. No, what was in that? What was I needing my coal for? No. Yeah, if I happen to also have the um, iron ingots on me, I could have been able to make. Perfect. I uh, could have made my power supply. Um, so we will now replace. Okay. We get to choose a nice fun color for it. Uh, there we go. Select color. Beacon name. Radiation station. All right. Now here's where this is this is what I like about this game. I don't remember if Factorio has something like this or if other games that have something similar. Uh, but now that we've made this area nice and safe, we're even getting safe music. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> um, all right, so we're gonna open up inventory. Uh, what we need is some power. So we need to get a couple of biomass burners out this way uh, until we know that we can get power lines. No, no big deal there. Uh, we're going to need to have... Um, you almost never listen to in-game music unless it's Hollow Knight or Doom. I, I do now that I stream. This game, the music gets... If you spend too much time in one area, this is the music. Like if we were just to spend the whole time in this area, this is what this music would sound like all the time. Um, so I would want to throw on pretzel rocks or something like that instead, but like at least it, like this and Valheim, uh, I think the music sort of denotes what you're doing. We get to try building a power plant. Wait, we could do that just straight right here. <clears throat> If that's the case, maybe we just grab one of those uh, and we and just leave that here. That's not too bad. And then this power storage, we need to build a boat ton of these. That's just like under, uh, well, that's like this is the fuel buffer uh, and solid buffer. Uh, having a power buffer is insane. They just added that. It's brilliant. I'm sorry, power storage here. The power switch is different, but yeah. Occasionally leave Hollow Knight screen open just to let the music play. It, it's great music. It really is. Um, every time I'm playing Valheim, uh, Clarington makes a comment. Um, so really that's it. Just the power plant and a couple of other bits. 
uh, to get us started. I don't even know what it takes. You sleep. Is that Hollow Knight soundtrack or or what is KH? Uh, hold on. So now, now we need to find a way home. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Very cool. Uh, trigger warning. There might be baddies in here. We need to go through this. Uh, and I think I can put on my jetpack again. Or, you know, absolutely blasting the Doom OST while beating things with a hammer at work. There you go. I can kind of hear slithery things, but otherwise I think we're safe. I'm checking to see, because if I can catch him from a distance. Um, so I feel like we need to go over all of this. Still just grabbing tons of leaves. Through and into there. Trying to picture where it is we need to... Because we're going to have to send... We're going to have to maybe find power. Uh, you know what? We're going to, I know what we're going to try doing. We're going to set up power at this end and that's it. And we're going to go from there to see what we need to do next. Oh, I see one. Yeah, I see one of you just hanging out over there. Like you own that rock. Proper wrecked. And that's a yellow power slug. Oh, Jeebus. I don't want to go down there at all. I'm wondering if I can fly over there and then throw on my hazmat. Or my gas mask, I should say. Uh, there's one of those plant guys. There we go. Oh, bright yellow. Oh, well, hold on. Where's his face? There. You can see his black eye. Yeah, kind of. They're pretty radical looking. So that's what the that's what these plant dudes do. They stand up and they make their presence known. Okay. Oh, there's that one doing it now. Boosh. Guess I'll come down here now. Awesome. Don't forget to change your filters like in Metro. I know. Wow, dude. That was such a trip of a game. I am, I am very much looking forward to uh, Last Light. I think that will be... Uh, quite good. Back on the transportation. We should also add drone port and drone. Oh, no, wait. No, we shouldn't do that because we don't yet have uh, the casings. I, mean, I can probably build them, but I don't have them. So There's a video on YouTube of a Family Guy episode where Meg and Chris kick the shit out of everybody at school. And the video is called <laughs> When the Tomb Music Kicks In. Oh, damn. I can almost picture it. I, I think I might have seen that in a montage. Um, so there's the quartz station, and there's the quarry. 
Uh, getting back out here is going to be just... I'm not even sure. That's partly what we're trying to do right now. I'm not wearing my 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 back my jetpack. <laughs> Cuz I don't think Quartz Quarry has anything on the other side of it. Like I don't think I can get through like this, but maybe I can. I can't tell how high up I am. Your music makes everything better. Did we get them? Or did they clip through stuff? I feel kind of bad for these guys, except for how aggro they are. Idea. Play Doom music at someone's wedding and or funeral. It has to be both. <laughs> it will play at your funeral, is that what we're saying? That's good things to set up. So yeah, there's Zelda bombage all over the place, but I used my bombs for... Ooh... I use my bombs for evil. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Hi. I don't know E1M1 personally to be able to state, but I'm sure it's brilliant. All right, I think I know-ish where I am. I think Quartz Station is like right there. Wow. Okay, guys. Getting up here is a bit of a challenge. This is where I'd said that there were tons of slugs. but that I'd had a hard time getting them. Yeah. So getting all the way back out, out, out here. First Doom game needed to be part of your exit of life. <laughs> you wrote, you wrote 10 years ago. That's brilliant. At one point I had ladders to take me up here. Where's that thing floating just up out now? Anyway. I don't really want to drop down, but I I have to be able to return here with materials. I don't happen to have the materials for these guys, do I? No, I don't. I do, however, have the materials to make the beginnings of a boom tube. Hey, we might be on to something. Hold on. Yeah, we could probably try. Just a little tip. I don't know how high up I can make that. <laughs> That's fair. It's just not a massive fan of the old Doom soundtrack. Not bad, but not hard enough for how much carnage you're causing. Well, and the new Dooms have a lot more of that carnage kind of for it. And where? Oh, whoa, way up there. Ok, 
Okay. This will get me up there a lot faster. When the time is right. That's going to be one hell of a ride, but still. <laughs> we come back with the materials. We're going to hook this thing up and go zoop and go up. Uh, so now, add to the list uh, hypertube entrance. <laughs> Let's go get some stuff. Uh, 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 uh. I have yet to beat Eternal. Felt too much like a Doom plus Quake game. Fair. I tried getting into Quake back in the day, but I was too much of a Doom fan. Uh, Doom 95. Uh, so Quake was like, it was way too much for me. Like way too much. Uh, I think that I didn't want to evolve with the first person shooter genre as much. So some of my first games, uh, outside of the SNES, outside of SNES, my first games, uh, on PC were... First person shooters. Quick requires too much twitch movement for your liking, like AD spam. Uh kind of thing. Um so I played like Blake Stone. Uh and what's the other not Wolfenstein. I didn't play Wolfenstein, but yeah, Blake Stone. And there was another one uh in its era, uh almost as old. Uh, and then somebody was like, dude, you gotta play Doom. So here's a funny story, and if Kurds is in the chat, I don't know if he is, but he might be able to back this up. But when I, I played, I played Doom a whole bunch of times, uh, with a buddy of mine, like a friend that had it on his, his computer. I'd go over to his place, his PC was decent. It's a 386, but it ran like a 486. Oh, it was beautiful. Anyway, uh, so we'd play Doom, and it was great, but never with a mouse. We'd literally play the uh, arrow keys in this hand, and you'd use Control Alt and Spacebar with your with your left hand. Uh, so then I played oh what other games did I play on computer? I don't even remember what I was playing, but uh, Kurds was just like, uh, hey, did you ever play like the old Doom games? And I'm like, yeah, blah blah blah. And he's like, oh, it was so great. And then he's talking about playing it with. Like, you know, PvP. I'm like, oh, dude, no, I can never do PvP. And so he was talking about strafing around, like what I'm just doing like this, right? Keeping, you know, that's just the standard. I'm like, I can't do that. Oh, Descent. Descent was the other game that I was playing. So with that game, I'm using, like, all sorts of keys. Uh, so anyway, he shows me how to play said game, Doom 95, for the first time, if you will, with mouse and keyboard. And it was then that we were getting into, like, more the dev side of games than anything. <laughs> we're loading cargo while having a combo. Um, so that's when we went, well, what are WAD files? And so I had never really played the extended Dooms, but I also lost my copy of Doom somewhere because PCs were crap back in the day. Uh, so we went to a site, got to another site, had to run a scan. Uh, anyway, got the WAD files, but it also came with Heretic and Hexen. So I'd never played those before. Uh, but I got a chance to play those guys, and it was awesome. So I thought that was a really cool, a, a cool way to do it. Um, so I played more Hexen than anything, but Heretic was pretty sweet too. Uh, did you ever look up the Doomsday engine, Sage? Uh, a community-made engine that made Doom proper 3D. Uh, it just added more textures and gave it a better engine to, to, to add things like uh, aiming. Uh, but because, and I don't remember the name of the style, but everything is a cardboard cutout. So it means that when you look at an enemy from the top, they're just like this and, and like they just turn. You know, they have no texture. So it gave them proper textures. That way you could jump and you could move. To be fair, the first thing you played on a computer was Legend of the Red Dragon, so your tastes are strange. Dude, I cannot believe you played Lord. I've got some good Lord stories for you. 
I had a 286 with a 1200 VOD modem that that dude with the with the 386 uh, gave to me. He was like, here, you should use some network. 1200 baud modem. And then after a little bit, he actually found a 2400 baud modem. So like, text was going from like, to going, and it was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. So I was able to play Legend of the Red Dragon twice as fast. I don't know if I remember Brutal Doom. I'm trying to picture that now that you've mentioned. I do not need my flashlight on this much. Uh, I need... Oh, heavy modular frames. Iron rods are somewhere nearby. Hey! Uh, wire is... Oh, wire is surprisingly far. Heavy modulars are here? Know thy factory. How many do we need? 25? 25. Yeah. Uh, we'll go get some concrete. Oh, the supercomputers we have because we picked up 15 of them from a place. What the heck are quantum computers? I've never made one of those. Uh, wire is this one? Wire is this one. Need all that much wire. Concrete next, and then I think we should be good. Hooked up your Win 3 1 laptop a few months ago with your 56K. Nice. I had a 288 and a 14.4. I upgraded my, mo my modems like over time. Quantum computers are a pain to work with. Like you blink and they're not there. I love that this stacks by the 500 now. Okay. Uh, oh, is there more to this list? Oh, holy crap, there's more to the list. Guys, there's more to the list. The al the uh, Alclad we can go grab. Ugh, rotors and steel pipes are far. Posture check. I don't have time for a posture check. I got nonsense to do. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was fast. Whoa. Too fast. <laughs> okay, maybe we should stop for a posture check. Steel pipe is you? No, steel pipe is you? Yes. Done. <laughs> Alright. Oh, posture check. Thank you very much, by the way. Oh. Come on, Edge, they are physical computers that are not entangled with any piece of the quantum moon. Yeah, that would be very tough if they were. I'm going to travel. Give me your flashlight. I need to turn it off. I did say flashlight. That's with an A. Shh. Stupid company ruined an entire product for me. Uh, I think... I don't need that many of them. Good enough. Oh, wait. I grabbed motors, not rotors. I do that a lot. Rotors are... Box behind? Where the hell do we keep motors? This happens more often than you'd think. They're made just above. Yeah, and they're a main ingredient for stators. Are they across here? Oh, jeebus. Okay. I don't know where half my crap is. Except aluminum. Fla- Ash light. <laughs> That actually surprisingly rolls off the tongue. Okay. I didn't quite get the momentum I wanted. 
I keep missing that jump. Go fly through here. Uh, sheets. Right there. How many we need? The, uh, this many. How many? There. We don't need tons. Tons. Now, I suppose if I go find out what it takes to... Yeah, we might have to, we might have to come, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be coming and going from this place a bit. Um, but we're gonna go build a giant nuclear power plant, I think. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Also, if we're talking, still talking game nostalgia, is digging through your apartment and found your Magic the Gathering cards, Woza. I have a World of Warcraft version of those. Uh, the World of Warcraft trading card game. Their own TCG. Um, that's the closest I have to, to card. I actually didn't know anyone that played uh, Magic the Gathering back in the day. It was, it, like, my, my high school was very much tabletop role-playing, but of the dice variety. D&D, uh, Rift's Palladium, uh, and the same people that made Rift's Palladium made, uh, <sighs> Heroes? Shoot, what was it called? It was basically a superhero, uh, game from the 90s. And we used to we used to combine it. We used to we used to draw from that book all the time. Um, oh, it's gonna bug me now. I, I haven't thought of it in years. World of Champions, maybe or something like that. Um, but Magic: The Gathering was not all that popular in my high school. You kind of got a bit mocked for it, which was funny. I always liked the idea of nerd rage back in the '80s was a bit weird, or '90s I should say. That was that's feels a little strange. I love this part of the track. The way I was able to cut it through the mountains was okay. It, it's a little chaotic. Oh, and when the brakes come on, the wheels get hot. That's a cool feature. Heroes Unlimited? Heroes Unlimited. Can you find a cover of that and drop it in the Discord? It was like a super 80s looking cover, I think. Like a He-Man looking person going like this, like their, their, their fists up going like that maybe or something. <laughs> That's all kinds of loud. Alright, so we're gonna use the boom tube again. But this time... We have a, a, a marker. Should hopefully help us figure all this out. Let's get a save. Yeah, Heroes Unlimited, uh, my buddy, the GM, not so much a buddy after he ruined a couple of sessions, but anyway, uh, my buddy, the GM, used to draw from that one as well. It was a good... Oh, train end I don't need anymore. <laughs> that was when I was building my train track. Can't believe that's still there. All right. Radiation station. Here we go. Am I going to overshoot the crap out of it? I'd say that's a yes. Okay, touch ground, what's hot, what's hot, all right, good stuff, it is in this direction, notice the music isn't happy right now, oh, oh, the music is happy right now, hey, 
Oh, jeebas. Technology, but it's going to kill me. Let's go maybe land down here by this bacon. Beauty, beeps. Beauty. Gravity is not technology. Oh, oh. I heard barking noises. I wasn't pleased. Uh, okay. Well, for starters, let's build some things. This doesn't seem like the stupidest idea ever, does it? Drilling right into this nonsense. Um, now let's start by fueling it with alien organs. Okay. <laughs> but now I gotta be able to refine this into stuff, right? There's no way this thing just straight up takes. So what do we do? Which one of these do we think? Do you smelt uranium? Would you use a foundry for uranium? This is, I guess, some of the research we should have done. Well, here, while that's just going, we want to make sure we're safe here, right? So right now we can't hear... Hey, happy music. And we can't hear the noise of the machine. So let's put on our dancing boots. Now let's maybe go see about uranium. So I'm assuming fuel rods are what we're after. Uh, fuel rods take uh, encased uranium cells. And that's where our pure uranium, uh, concrete, and sulfuric acid come together to turn into uh, encased uranium cells for nuclear power production and slightly less sulf sulfuric acid. So still making sulfuric acid. Yes, I think the game is much like Factorio. Pausing research is generally not advisable. Yeah. <laughs> um, geez. So at this point, Sulfuric acid is made from all of those things. Alternatively, if I wanted to, sulfur itself in water. <laughs> and then I can make it out of packaged sulfuric acid. Like, I'm going to find that just out in the world. Well, you never know. Um, okay. Well, it took over 200 rounds of ammunition. But I think we've done rel rather well. Uh, we'll be making these guys nice and soon. I'm thinking what we'll probably need to do, though, is not... We won't be making our, um, our power plant out here. So, unfortunately, what we do still need to do is get ourselves to that court station. We need to go through all of this nonsense to get to... 200 rounds of ammo in two and a quarter hours, indeed. But. We have lots of. Lots of progress here, anyway. Uh, that's okay. So this box will fill. Holy crap, very fast, too. That's not bad. Um, so we need to get 
through here. I wonder if we should just be traipsing. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's go. We're just going to drag a power line with us the whole way. Oh. I kind of forgot something. <laughs> we need to have the legs. Uh, court station is that way. steep floor that's not a bad deal wow power lines can go a little further than i remember them going i wonder if that was in the update oh yeah how far down do we need to go we need it to be daylight is the problem <laughs> Um, because it's that way. So we don't fall in a hole. And did I drag this a weird way? Could we have just come straight across that way? Is too long. Okay. We'll go with right here. <laughs> Clips through so many things. Where's my station? This way? Oh, it's directly under us. So where was my. Okay, hold on a sec. I don't know where. My drop down was. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so, all right. I think I know the better way to go this. Let's head back over here for a sec. I think we want to go up that way instead. So let's take you. We're going to go up here. I thought I saw something that wasn't just the shadow of moving leaves. Like skitter kind of thing. Oh, I do see it. I see the shadow of one of those bastards. Where is he? I don't want to be in the middle of running cable and get confronted by one of those assholes. Like I said, they're not necessarily as friendly in the daytime. Or at nighttime, I mean. We're trying to get to this edge. And then we can drop straight down. Going this way, I think, for a bit. Oh, I hear him. Oh, ho, ho. big guy. Problem is, 
If they knock me off of here, we're up a little high. And where's Big Bear? Where's Big Bear? Because I'm playing with the edge of this place. I don't really want to mess about. 288 for ammo, though. This thing has quite, uh, quite a terrible range to it. There we go. They're a little bit strong, so you kind of have to be strong right with them all right so over this edge holy crap might be an abyss <laughs> oh but there's a power slug just over here oh yeah you can see those rays coming off them from a distance So I was really hoping that it's just below me. But I can't see anything down there. That's a lot disconcerting. Remember when we were somewhere and I was like... I think we actually went through the cavern. Yeah, the station is just below me. Um, this should still work out. I just don't know how far down we're allowed to go. Yeah, the save and jump is super smart. Thank you. Hold on. Because when I came through the tunnel... This was a bit of an easier ride, but I didn't really like having to run this through the tunnel. Oh, yeah. That's quite the distance. Now, hold on. Wire is too long. Yeah, that's quite the mist. And that floor is too steep. Valid aim location. <laughs> mm hmm. This is essentially where we're hoping to get to, though. See, right there, invalid aim. I also think it's too far away. All right, let's load up. There we go. It's quite the, quite the, the drop. What we're going to try to do is see if we can get the, get it to aim just a little bit further down from here. Nada. Wow, not even close. I think we're going to have to go through uh, the tunnel we had before. Well, this isn't maybe so bad. 
This is absolutely juking my uh, my heights issue, though. Even though I have a save, even though it's just pixels, I am sweating to the oldies down here. Oh, like huge. That was crazy. A lot of fun, though. Ooh. Wow. Well. I think we have power. Which means that we're not really all that worried uh, about oh yeah, this. We're not really worried about um, making the nuclear power there. We're worried about getting it home. Oh, you're already 404. Upgrade. it go fast enough to get me all the way up here? Ha ha ha! That is okay. The only way to travel. Slight bend on it. And then this was the original tunnel anyway, so we might even be able to make all this nice and short. That doesn't really clip through anything. Gold. There, maybe that's a little more of a gentle rock, right? So I'm trying to remember now where through here... That's Radiation Station? Where the hell am I now? I guess we just sort of found our way up here and this is our convenient way back. Well, that's where it's going to shoot me out when we come out this anytime. I guess Radiation Station goes that way. So hold on. Can you connect? Connect. Can you do a wall style? No. You see why it's disjointed though. How you end up with so many twists and turns in these things. I think... This is going to be janky by the time it gets there. But yeah, and then we gotta go through this way. Did I bring enough of this? I did not. Oh, but it's right there. I maybe I did. Oh, can we have it go right through the water, guys? That looks terrible. I'm not doing that. Hold on. I think I brought enough to be able to do this, though. Here. 
I gotta go right by the rock. There. Look how picturesque that's gonna be when we take this home. Walrus, you're not invited to my tube. Oh. Hold on. Let's not die for this cause. Okay. Can't afford. Back this thing up till it says 23. Up it goes. Curve it down just a tiny bit. Oh, I can't if I go there. Ah, good enough. Oh, we do need more steel pipe. Okay, we can't put an entrance on it. I don't think you're allowed to just climb through. This is a one-way. That's alright. Literally, this thing got that much before we ran out of alien parts. So insert fuel, no power. We can now just do this. Power is established. Perfect. Listen to the sound of that. None of those happen to have steel beams in them, do they? No. Oh, that guy did. <laughs> Steal it. So, we almost have a quick way back. Get out of the radiation zone. Let's put my jetpack back on. Let's eat some barrel nuts. Let's go for a jaunt. Thought I heard one again. They almost make like a horse whinny. We want to keep this place safe, damn it. Think of the tourists. And yet, that doesn't bother me because I know I have my jetpack, but accidentally slipping off. Falling to my doom. No thank you. Oh, I could have been taking this thing the whole way. What is wrong with me? Alright guys, well... This is end of stream, but tomorrow night, we're going to pick up similar-ish place. Uh, we're going to set up a drone, uh, drone facility, and we're going to truck all of this to a new fuel center that we are going to build just outside of the main encampment. Uh, the drone will be able to fly to and from Uranium Center, uh, Radiation Station. Uh, and then thusly nobody will have to wear hazmat. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to set that guy up. We'll also make sure that we can get to and from this place via boom tube. We'll probably want to make that. We'll put that a little closer to us. So that we can get quickly onto it. Uh, wow, there's another. There's another power slug just right there. Those things are just everywhere. 
I think when I when I last spoke with the Turis and uh, uh, Gilded Birch, they had collected almost 200 of them. So that's pretty okay. So my train is here. Uh, instead of biomass burner nuclear power plant, we're going to put in drone and drone facility. We'll keep power plant because, well, we need a couple of those. Right now, uh, main factory is being powered by 15 fuel center thingies. We might be able to decommission the fuel center soon. Especially if we... Whew, if we can get drones just processing and shipping out the no, processing shipping out the processed uh, uh, uranium to the power plants done that should be no issue so we'll ride this guy home and then we'll find out who we've got out there that we should be able to raid Let's see what we got Brickhouse is still doing Sea of Thieves. If he's still if he's still going strong, we're gonna have a brick raid. Yeah, that should be good. Mm-mm. A lot of save and jump going on tonight. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. I also love how fast we get home. It takes a bit to wait for the train. And then you're home. We'll have to see just how fast uh, drone flight is. As to whether or not we want to replace train travel. But the other side of this place here is going to get some nice competition. Each of those draws or, or uh, creates a ton of power. 75? 150? 150? 150. So we'll see how much more. Oh, we might be upgrading a lot of stuff to drones tomorrow night. Caturium Station, for example, is still driven by trucks. And that truck falls apart a lot. That's terrible. My clock thingy says 2 hours 16. That's definitely way off. Alright. Well, I think this is a great place to save. Yeah, let's hit that button. drop right into super quiet. Ugh. Everybody. This was a hype night. This was a hype night. Brobot got his sub back. Uh, we got uranium at least mining. That box is going to be filled up by the time we get back there. Uh, we'll set a drone for picking it up. Uh, we probably will do the fuel part of it first. Like we'll build the actual power plants. Might as well do something with the uranium when we get it. Not just put it in a box that we can't go near. Um, we'll have to make sure it's far enough from home. That'll be neat. That's going to be neat. Uh, yeah. Let's go jump in. Let's go say hi to Brick. He's been playing Sea of Thieves now for almost six hours. So this should be a pretty fun time. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Hanging out. Having a good time. Peace.